Hey there, Eagles fans. An urgent news has just arrived, leaving everyone in awe. No one believed this bombshell news, but the Eagles made a bold move with a contract extension that has been dividing opinions. I'm going to tell you all about it, but before that, it's crucial that you subscribe to the channel and enable notifications so you don't miss any Eagles updates. Now, let's get to the big news. In a move that showcases their commitment to building a strong offensive line, the Philadelphia Eagles have just made a significant investment. They have signed their talented left tackle, Jordan Mailata, to a three-year contract extension. According to ESPN's Adam Schefter, the deal is worth a whopping $66 million, with $48 million guaranteed and a $20 million signing bonus. This contract extension keeps Mailata in Philadelphia through the 2028 season, and his average annual salary of $22 million puts him among the highest-paid offensive tackles in the NFL. For those who may not know, Mailata's journey to the NFL is quite remarkable. Hailing from Australia, he initially played rugby before being drafted by the Eagles in the seventh round of the 2018 NFL Draft. Since making his debut in 2020, Mailata has been a force to be reckoned with, earning the starting left tackle position and playing every offensive snap for the team in the 2023 season. But that's not all, folks. The Eagles have been busy securing their offensive line. Prior to Mailata's extension, they also locked down Landon Dickerson, a two-time Pro Bowl selection. Dickerson's deal is worth a base value of $84 million, potentially reaching up to $87 million, making him the highest-paid player in NFL history at his position. This significant financial commitment to the offensive line demonstrates the Eagles' determination to protect their young quarterback, Jalen Hurts. Speaking of Hurts, he must be thrilled about the continuity and protection he'll have in the upcoming season. Despite being sacked 35 times last year, Hurts remains an exciting and dynamic quarterback. With Mailata and Dickerson anchoring the offensive line, Hurts can focus on making big plays and leading the Eagles to success. Now, while this investment in the offensive line is undoubtedly a step in the right direction, there's still work to be done. The Eagles' defense struggled last season, allowing an average of 25.2 points and 356 yards per game, ranking among the bottom of the league. So, as the front office addresses the offensive line, they must also prioritize shoring up the defense to ensure a well-rounded team. What do you think, Eagles fans? Are you excited about Mailata's contract extension and the commitment to protecting Hurts? And what are your thoughts on the defensive struggles? Share your opinions in the comments below. Remember to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more exclusive Eagles content. Fly, Eagles fly!